What comes included in the box is a user's manual, all of the relevant brackets and fixtures to fit this to the Intel sockets or the AMD socket processors, as well as four screws which will mount the brackets onto the heatsink. You get thermal compound and the rubber mounts as well for anti-vibration. You also get a 92mm brushless DC fan and the heatsink cooler itself. Having a look at the actual heatsink, this is exactly what I'd regard as a medium size heatsink. The full dimensions of it are 92mm by 50mm by 134mm and weight wise it's not massively heavy because of the materials that it's made out of. It actually weighs in at 410 grams and that's with the fan fitted. The actual material on this heatsink is aluminium alloy and we can see that it's got the copper heat pipes going all the way through down into the bottom onto the base plate. And if we zoom in we can see the exact quality of this heatsink. We can see the aluminium alloy uh, metal fins that are being held together by these copper heat pipes. There are six copper heat pipes in total which run all the way from the top through the heatsink and down into the base plate. And if we actually take a look at the base plate, we can see where the copper heat pipes run through and make a direct connection on the base plate. So the copper heat pipes will be making contact with your CPU processor. Whereas most heat sinks, the heat pipes will come down and finish out the base plate. These actually make up part of the base plate. We can also see the screw holes. There's one here and one down the bottom, which is exactly where you'd get the mounting brackets and screw it in. I have seen some heat sinks. When you actually look at it, they have another mini heat sink here. But to be honest, with this direct touch uh, copper heat pipes, I really don't think that's going to be needed. And now it's time to take a look at the other important factor, which is the fan. It's all well and good having a decent heat sink that's going to dissipate heat really well, but if you've got a lousy fan, you're not going to be doing yourself any favours. So this particular fan is a brushless DC fan, and the dimensions are 92mm by 92mm by 25mm in depth. The voltage rating is 12 volts, and the speed of this fan operates anywhere from 1200 to 2800 RPMs. It uses a high pro bearing and pushes out a maximum of 52 CFMs. The air pressure is 3.7 and the life expectance on this fan is 40,000 hours. The most important thing to me is it's all well and good if it's going to do a good job at cooling but is it going to be quiet? And this particular fan will run anywhere from 20 to 28 decibels depending on what RPM rating it's running at. Another important fact about the fan is that it's got a 4 pin fan header on it which is for the PWM control. That basically means that you can tell your BIOS, your computer, to actually determine what fan speed it needs and when it needs it. So generally if you've got a fairly decent motherboard with a good BIOS on there, once you've plugged this in you can go into the BIOS settings and you can say when it gets to a certain temperature the fan will kick in and go up to the highest speed. With some motherboards you can you have more control over it so it doesn't have to be at maximum speed, you can do it mid speed, but it all depends on the motherboard and the BIOS that you've got. Also included with this heatsink and fan are these five rubber mountings. Not quite sure why they give you five because to be honest you only need four, there are four corners on the fan, it might be in case you lose one. But looking at them they are made out of rubber which means that it's got fantastic anti-vibration properties. And now take a listen to the fan running at the lowest speed at 1200 RPM. And now take a listen to the fan at full speed at 2800 RPM. <laughs> 